Have you ever wondered which enemy in Pikmin 4 is the hungriest? Well, if you have, you're in luck, because in this video, we're going to conduct an experiment using the Piklopedia to determine which Pikmin 4 enemy has the biggest appetite, all in the name of science. Here are the rules of the experiment. We'll only be testing enemies that eat Pikmin, which from here on out, we'll refer to as test subjects. This means enemies like the Water Wraith or Smoky Frog won't be included in the experiment. We're looking for the hungriest enemy here, not the deadliest. For test subjects that come in groups, like the Dwarf Ball Borbs, we'll kill all but one so that there's only ever one test subject eating at once. We'll also be disbanding Ochi so that he doesn't interfere with any of the test subjects. For each test, we will bring in 100 Pikmin, and once a test subject starts to munch or lick or whatever it is they do, we'll start the timer, giving each test subject 10 seconds of pure bliss. Essentially, as soon as the Pikmin party count drops by 1, the 10 second timer is started. At the end of 10 seconds, we will record how much Pikmin have died to determine which test subject is the hungriest of them all. Warning, this experiment will involve lots of Pikmin deaths. So, if that's something you find hard to watch, I won't blame you for clicking off this video. Your mental health is important. To conduct this experiment, we'll be sending in one of the most respected and leading scientists in the discipline of Dendori out into the field where data and danger awaits. Next, we just need to find our guinea pigs. I would personally hate to show any prejudice to any of the Pikmin types. So, to help determine which Pikmin we'll bring into the field and sacrifice, I created this Wheel of Misfortune. Whichever Pikmin type the wheel lands on is the Pikmin we'll use for this experiment. No, Not blue Pikmin. Sorry Blues, the wheel has spoken. Before we start, I just want to mention this video was inspired by Fran Graham's video where he determines which ball orb from the series eats the most. So definitely check that out if you enjoyed this video. I also want to mention that Press A is on Patreon. So if you want to support the channel even more, you can find the link in our bio and in the description of this video. First up is the Dwarf Ball orb. Engage. Okay. Alright, respectable. One pink pin per munch. Not the hungriest. The albino dwarf ball borb is only active at night, so we must use glow pigment for this test. And we're only allowed 20, but this doesn't impact the results. Seems to be just like a regular ball borb. Just albino. Next up is the ball borb. Go! God, the poor blue ball borbs are pick the jumbo ball borb, everybody. Okay. The dwarf orange ball borb. He seems to be like a regular ball borb. Next, the orange ball orb. Okay. Start. Okay, I mean, all these picking are at your disposal. Dwarf ball bear. I, like. There we go. You're in a field of Pikmin, just ready for you to munch on. The spotty ball bear. Okay, there, you you got your Oh my god. He has taken big bites. For the dwarf frosty ball borb and frosty ball borb, we will be using ice pikmin, as these are the only pikmin type that won't be frozen from these test subjects, and thus will provide us results comparable to other test subjects. And go. My poor Pikmin, they don't deserve And go. You eating good tonight, boo. For the fiery ballbacks, we will be using red Pikmin, as any other Pikmin type will be burnt and start running around, skewing the result. We could just constantly whistle to keep Pikmin from running too far, but using red Pikmin would provide more accurate results. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, they're right there, man. Let's get a replay of that. 
Just look at his eyes as it's munching. Web tongue ball borb. Start. Oh, he took four out. Oh my god. This guy is an eater. It's the ball borb larva. This is the closest we're gonna get to this. How much are you eating? The Emperor Balbax. Okay. I mean, guys, this isn't a perfect science, but it's science nonetheless. Sovereign Balbax. Start. Okay. Oh my god. Next, we got the male shear grub. Go. Okay. Shear wig. Okay. Yeah, you don't have the biggest appetite, that's for sure. Sheer flea. Have it. Oh. Really? The Joust Mite. I think he's eating them. The Flighty Joust Mite. Okay. I mean, I hear swallowing, so yeah, this this is eating. Desiccated skitter leaf. Like, you're gonna get in on this? Ugh, that does not count. The arachnode. Okay. It looks like three Pikmin per bite. Snowfake Fluttertail will once again use Ice Pikmin to avoid frozen Pikmin. Oh, we starting. Oh, she is getting five in there. Okay. Creeping Chrysanthemum. Okay, yeah. This is better. What's it taking? Like three? The startle spore. We're over here. Okay, lots of whites are dying today. Gilda Mandui. Okay, we're right here. Oh. No, no. The Gildamander. Okay, okay. You don't really have the. Oh, I mean, you're taking quite a bit out. The Waddle Cloth. Okay. I'm counting this as eating. That's an appetite. He is getting fed good tonight. Downy Snagret. Get in there. What is she taking down? One? Oh. That ain't gonna cut it. Oh! The Burrowing Snagret. Okay, he's eating. Do not, he can't reach me, right? Okay. The Moldy Dwarf Bob Orb. Okay, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to use white. Moldy Slooch. Okay. 
he is... What's he taking? Three? Yep, three per... The Pyroclasmic Slooch. Go! Okay, he's a... He's a two kind of guy. Or is that... The Bearded Amprat can electrocute Pikmin. So logically, I thought we would need to use Yellow Pikmin for this test. But with the Yellow Pikmin, the test subject just runs around trying to electrocute these unshockable Pikmin and doesn't eat any of them. Fascinating. So to get results, we go back to using Blue Pikmin and must constantly whistle the Pikmin to avoid any from dying of electrocution. Fascinating that the test subject only eats while charged. Greater spotted jelly flow. Okay. So he just leaves with the 20. While the greater spotted jelly float doesn't eat any enemies within 10 seconds, I thought it was worth pointing out that it takes about 30 seconds before it consumes 20 Pikmin at one time. The water dumple. Okay, we're starting. He takes two per bite, but damn, he eats fast. Oh my god. Puckering Blino. Let's do this. Start. He's got one in his mouth. And he ate it. Aristo Crab Offspring. Okay, there we start that. What's he doing? Three, two? He blows bubbles and then eats. Peckish Aristocrab. We are. Go! What was that? Three? Oh my god. He. The Grub Chucker. Go. So they're just in there. Hermit Cromad. He grabs two. Okay. Bug Eyed Cromad. Oh, five each? Oh my god. Crusted Rump Pump. What are we getting in there? Five bites? Toady Bloister. Start. What? How many does he take? Twelve? Oh my god. Bloom Cap Bloister. He senses us. Go! Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. With that, we've completed all our tests. But while out in the field, our scientists noted something extraordinary, and I want to present those test results to you now. Originally, when we tested the Gildamander, we left all the gold on its back. But it turned out if you knock the gold off its back and then have all your pigments surround a gold piece before the Gildamander licks the gold piece, it can consume and eat all 100 of your Pikmin. Which means the hungriest enemy in Pikmin 4 is officially the Gildamander. These tests may not have been a perfect science, but the final result is hard to argue against. I want to thank our A button mashers Nolan Filter, Marcus Vandergag, Real Backfish, Rebecca Lyons, Phoenix Lazuli, Dragoon, Dr. Nook, Rooney 4, Leiburb, Puddles Megan, General Juicer, Omo, Fossil, Koi Koi 13, Darman, Ryan Levin, Alexander Thompson, Medin Coker, N and Arcus Kale. Thank you for the support.